Hello everyone, my name is Colin and welcome to Classy Herp. Alright, so I asked you last week if you liked the more strict videos for information or you liked the more laid back videos like this one last week's video has been. Um, I had a completely overwhelming majority said that they like the relaxed ones, so I'm going to make those now. Actually, those are, I'm, I'm glad you said that because it's a lot easier for me to make, especially with everything I have going on. So thank you for that, and I'll, I will work on that. Also, another thing I need to say is you can see pretty much all I'm doing is walking around with a video camera and pointing out stuff, and that's, honestly, to me, I find that kind of boring, but if you guys like that stuff, that's cool. Um, if, remember, if there's anything you want to see, you want to see how I do it, if you want to see a specific animal more, you want to, anything you want to see, just leave a comment or message me and I will make that video, believe me, because I'm out of ideas. So there we go. So I have had some requests to do videos on the dart frogs and I guess I don't really show them much because every single time I do, I get hate comments on how I shouldn't mix species. And just to let you know, I've had them for well over a year now and they're all doing great. They've all almost grown to their adult size completely. And so they're doing great. They don't have any problems together. You know, I, I don't know why you guys tell me to do that, but I mean, they did live fine, just just fine together. But some of you guys wanted to see them, so there's some of the Azurus. There, another one. There's the green one, Taurus down there. And let's see if I can find them all down there. It's the yellow and blue one. I can't think of their name right off the top of my head. But yeah, just feeding them some fruit flies. So with my scorpions, I've had some problems with them, major problems. I've showed you them. I haven't really had them for that long, but I guess scorpions were just not the thing for me because all four of them died. Yeah, I, I don't really know what I did wrong. It may have been the I, the rack is right here, and I spray that down with Prevenamite, which is an insect killer, once a month, and they're pretty close to it. But that hasn't really been an issue with the crickets, which I keep up top, and Harry my tarantula, which is just right on the other side. So I don't know really what it was. You know, I might get some more. Or I don't know. I don't think I've showed you my Tegu's cage with the fogger running. Again, this is my fogger that is right there. Homemade, just the tube. I have a video showing how to make this. It runs for about 15 minutes every hour or so, and it completely fills this thing up with fog. And I'll show you. It's the same cage I've been showing you guys, getting ready for my Tegu. It's kind of blowing it these air out. Yeah, same cage. It just gets everything really wet. And it looks awesome, huh? Look like a rainforest. That was the goal. So, you can see the moisture on the rocks there. It really works. So here's something I'm really excited about. This is my pinstripe, Carmen. She is growing so much. I'm gonna let you guys see how much she weighs here. Almost 1100 grams. So she is about 120 grams away from what I consider breeding size, just 1,200 grams. And that's about one meal away pretty much for her. So I'm obviously not going to breed her right when she hits that because breeding season, is I kind of missed it. But she's not even a year old yet. So that kind of tells you how I, how I do raising my snakes, what you can do. She's going to be... I'm hoping 1500 grams at least by next breeding season so that is what I am definitely looking forward to with her and there's a few others that are closely following her but you see she's getting pretty long too and remember she's, she's not even a not even a year old yet all the way to the back of her tub she's longer than her tub
Alright, sorry about the noise, but pup of the week today, I'm actually just gonna do a whole whole three litters. This is three mom's litters here. Not that big litters, but I like a lot of the babies. Um, two of the moms were Rex, like that's a Rex. That black one there is a Rex, that's just a normal hooded wild type, I guess. Yeah, so there are your pups of the week. They're all really cute, you know. Just look at that little face. Look at that little face. It's time for the weekly comment contest.